Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a craft on Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham. So get out your template and all your craft supplies and let's get started. What I have in front of me now is a piece of cardstock and a paper plate. I'm using a flimsy paper plate, one that's bendable, so it'll be easier to cut out later. I'm gonna take a black marker or a crayon and I'm going to make a circle where there's already a circle in the plate. Gonna go around the circle does not have to be perfect because we're going to be making another circle like that then we're going to go a little further out and we're going to create another circle on the outside and connect them just like that then i'm going to continue and make lines inside of my plate i want to create checkers that I'm going to be coloring with you different colors. So let's just go around, keep them almost the same size, but if they're a little bit off, don't worry about it. I'm not paying attention to that. I want to be whimsical, just like Dr. Seuss. There you go. So now you can see that we have all of our checkers on a plate inside of a plate. Let's take our safety scissors and let's cut around the outside line. Now remember, make sure that your hands are away and you're paying attention to where you're cutting. And let's just go around and cut together. Taking our time and keeping our eyes where we're cutting. Leave a little bit of room on the outside. If you cut into it a little bit, don't worry, just do the best you can. And there you have it, there's your new plate. So I'm gonna take my old plate and recycle it or put this piece in my craft box for later. Now I see this will be my placemat. So I'm gonna take this aside and I'm gonna take my black marker again and I'm just going to create some lines like a checkerboard. But before I do, just to guide myself, I'm going to draw lines around the edge. Now again, your lines don't have to be perfectly straight because we want to have fun. So if they're a little crooked, that's okay. Now I'm gonna grab another marker because this one is fading. We're gonna continue on and just create lines across. See if they're a little bit sideways like this or like this. Or maybe they're like this. That's okay too. Then we're going to turn our page and we're going to do the same thing this way. Maybe they'll go a little bit up. Maybe they'll go straight. Very nice. Just like so. Take your time. If you need more time, pause the video. But for now, this is my placemat. When I put this on top, it's gonna look really good. I can see it already. But for now, let's stay focused here I'm going to take the color red. Now you might use a bunch of colors. It's up to you. But let's go through and color a few checkers together and then we'll go forward and color ourselves. So I'm going to start up here in the corner. And I'm just going to trace around like I always do. Maybe I'll do this one too. And I'm going to color in this square. the square and you'll notice I missed a square in between I did that on purpose I'm gonna leave those white just like a checkerboard or a picnic a picnic blanket and I go here going around taking my time and you might choose another color like green or yellow or orange 
this up to me. So I'm going to miss a spot and start on this way. From here we're going to keep going and I want you to create your own pattern with your own picnic checkerboard. And then once you're done, we'll check back. Great job on your placemat. Now we're going to move on to our plate. So grab your plate and let's look at what colors we want to use. I think that I'm going to be using blue. So you grab the color that you want and I'm going to do the same thing that I did on my placemat where I'm going every other square. So let's start down here and let's just go around, skip one and go to the next one. Now, if you're using a plate that has one side shiny and one side matte, know that it will take a little bit longer for this to dry if you're using markers. If you're using crayons, it doesn't worry, but just don't touch it until your markers dry. We're gonna go around and do each of these. So let's go ahead and do that. If you're like me, you'll notice that you have a square that is neither here nor there. So I'm going to fix it. I'm going to take my black marker again and just make one in the very middle and then look at this. It now has a checker on either side. You don't have to do that, but that's one way to know how to fix it. All right, now that we've finished our plate, this is looking very good, we're gonna focus on putting our plate on top of our placemat. So what do we need? We need some glue. So let's grab some glue, whether white glue or stick glue, turn over to the wrong side of our plate and just put lots of glue on there. Because this is a plate, it's gonna be a little bit heavier. So we wanna make sure that we put enough glue that it doesn't fall off. Take your cardstock, pick a good place for your plate, and press it down. And I like to tap. Try to avoid my blue marker space until it dries. And look at that, a little bit might pop off around the edge. And that kind of looks fun too, so leave it if yours does as well. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take a regular napkin. Now you might have a picnic napkin, I have a hand washing napkin. And I want to look at where I'm going to be putting my napkin. I think about that high feels good to me. I'm going to look here, and I think I'm going to cut it a little bit on the edge so that it fits a little bit better. If it's a little off, just adjust until it feels good for you. And that feels good to me. I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and do the same thing. Oops, if there's more than one, I'll just take the one that works. Let's see, if I open this up, this is one whole napkin, so I don't need that one right now. Take a little bit of glue. You can really see where I'm putting my glue. And that's quite enough. And then I'm going to put it down right like that and press. Now right now, I can still open it up, but I'm gonna be putting something on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I, if I have to, I'm just gonna put a little piece of glue right here so that it stays closed for me. Perfect. Next, I have some handy dandy little utensils. So I've got a fork, a knife, and a spoon. And I'm just gonna take my colors and I'm going to color them in. So the first thing I'm going to do, you can choose any color you like. I'm just going to go around in there and I'm going to color in my utensils. So my fork will be green. Take your time, just go on in there. And you'll see that the template I'm using already has a cut line. So that will come in very handy when we're cutting these out. 
next. Let's get out our safety scissors and start cutting. Same rules, remember to watch where your fingers are. And this time you can actually cut on the dotted line. How cool is that? And there you have it. We have all three right now. Put these to the side. And now you can place your utensils wherever you like. I am going to do it like that. So just take a little bit of glue, put it on the wrong side of your utensil, and place it down where it feels good for you. The next one, little knife. There you go. And my spoon. Very gentle. I don't need a lot. Just enough to make sure that it sticks. It's looking pretty cute. Now, I'm doing green eggs and ham, but I don't have any green eggs and ham, so I think that we should focus there for a minute. Take some green construction paper, or green paper, and let's just place it there to see what size we kind of need. I think I'm going to make it to about there, because when I place it, I can see that would fit. And my green eggs are going to be even smaller. I'm just going to take a black marker and I'm going to draw my egg. Perfect. Let's take our scissors and let's cut it out. I'm going to stay around the black line, like always. Very careful with our hands. Going as slowly as we need to. Cutting. Looking good. And look at that. Brilliant. That is a great size. Let's get our yellow, which needs to go in the middle. So it needs to be a little bit smaller than this piece of paper. I'm going to take a guess that that's about right. I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. And I'm going to make a circle. Wonderful. What do I do? Take my safety scissors, cut around the side, just like I did with everything else. And slowly, circles can be a little bit more tricky, so watch those fingers. Boom. There you have it, that one's done. Now, of course, we need to glue them on. So let's take our green eggs to the wrong side and put the glue on. Placing it and very nicely, put it in on there and then our yellow right in the middle. So let's go ahead and take a simple piece of construction paper. Mine's pink. I'm going to draw six cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that I've drawn six, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to carefully cut them out. So let's go ahead and do that together. Perfect, there's one. Be careful with your fingers. Two, three, there's number four, five, Lovely. Now we're just going to take each of our pieces of ham, turn them over, and glue them on. And there you have a wonderful plate of green eggs and ham. I don't know about you, but I really like my green eggs and ham. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time.